And Marcus, I know it's not going to hit all of East Texas, maybe just some parts of East Texas, yes. but still, it's important that we all be on our guard. Yeah, I definitely think so, especially now. Colder weather going to move in for everybody. The freezing line is still playing a big role. I don't expect it to move farther east than Highway 271 for tomorrow, but still going to be a close call. We've still got a lot of things to digest, and some things we may not know until the event actually begins to take shape. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the forecast is going to be dependent upon what's coming our way for tomorrow. Take a moment and go ahead and download the East Texas Storm Team app. We gave you notice last week about the potential of wintry weather coming our way. You can download the app to see the latest on what we're keeping an eye on now. Again, as I just mentioned, best threat is going to be west of Highway 271, but the wintry impact will go all the way through Thursday. Temperatures near 80 degrees again today, but a little deceiving because it's much colder now for everyone. And we've also had a few showers come through. Still looking at at least some some light rain in portions of Toledo Bend, the heaviest rain now in sections of Louisiana. I think overall any storm or severe threat that's going to be remaining at zero for the rest of tonight. Now that the front has essentially moved through, it's coming through Sabine County right now, but everybody else with a northerly to a northwest wind. Notice how that wind is increasing northwest at about 17 up in Sulphur Springs, where temperatures there are the coldest at 38. We're looking at 58 in Lufkin, 47 in Longview and Palestine at 46. Now you factor in that north wind that is picking up. We are already dealing with a feels like temperature down in the low 30s and the 20s in our northern counties. Feels like 43 Jacksonville Gilmer at this point feels like 38. When we start tomorrow morning, it'll feel like the 20s and the 30s. So get all the layers that you need ready to go. Cold front has moved through. The freezing line just now coming into Texas over the last couple of hours. It's near Interstate 20 in West Central Texas, but the colder is going to continue to dive more so to the south than it is moving to the southeast. That's why part of our area is expected to see the chance of wintry precipitation for tomorrow. We got this upper disturbance, got colder air that's moving in at the surface, but upper level moisture that's warmer air creating the potential of freezing rain to move in our direction for uh, Thursday. Let's give you a look at the forecast Wednesday. I should say tomorrow we're looking at the chances of wintry weather, freezing rain to pick up as we get toward midday and noon, and this threat will continue well into the afternoon and evening. The latest update here to Futurecast just continues to show the potential of this of unfolding during the day tomorrow. There's some of the spotty rain. We're not looking at a lot in terms of precipitation, but as we get in the late afternoon and certainly toward the evening, watch how the areas of pink begin to blossom in our west areas. That's where we're going to probably see the greater impacts, even though it's a light coating, certainly going to be around going into early Thursday morning and then Thursday midday. That precipitation gradually beginning to pull away. So no big change to the forecast here. Areas in pink, certainly with the greater threat of seeing some light ice accumulation. Closer look here. This is where I expect some of the travel impacts. And again, we're looking at elevated surfaces, the most likely area to be impacted, but I can't rule out maybe some surface roads having some impacts going into our Wednesday night and uh, into early Thursday morning. Seven day forecast. If we go above freezing, that freezing line pulls away. We transition back over to all rain. Friday for now looks mainly dry but it's going to be cold as well. We stay in the 30s and 40s. More showers picking up Saturday. The sun is back on Sunday. Deep East Texas, this is mostly going to be an all rain event for you. Not a lot, but definitely we'll have more showers around and cooler temperatures. Spring Sunday comes quickly, Marcus. Thank you very much.